Hi everyone today's topic kidney stone diet. Foods to eat and avoid. Kidney stones form when a person's urine output decreases, and when the kidney contains large numbers of certain minerals that stick together and form stones. They cause excruciating pain when they pass through your urinary tract. There's no one sure way to prevent kidney stones, especially if you have a family history of the condition. A combination of diet and lifestyle changes, as well as some medications, may help reduce your risk. First we see some types of kidney stones. Not all kidney stones are made up of the same crystals. The different types of kidney stones include Calcium oxalate stones Calcium phosphate stone Struvite stones Uric acid stones Cysteine stones Next we see the risk factors for kidney stones. Dehydration The greatest risk factor for kidney stones is making less than 1 liter of urine per day. This is why kidney stones are common in premature infants who have kidney problems. However, kidney stones are most likely to occur in people between the ages of 20 and 50. More men than women develop kidney stones. A family history of kidney stones can increase your risk. Other risk factors include Obesity A diet with high levels of protein, salt, or glucose. Hyperparathyroid condition Gastric bypass surgery Inflammatory bowel diseases that increase calcium absorption Taking medications Recognizing the symptoms and signs of a kidney stone Kidney stones are known to cause severe pain Symptoms of kidney stones may not occur until the stone begins to move down the ureters. This severe pain is called renal colic. You may have pain on one side of your back or abdomen. Sometimes stones block the flow of urine. This is called a urinary obstruction. Urinary obstructions can lead to kidney infection and kidney damage. What is the kidney stone diet? Drinking plenty of water is an aspect of the kidney stone diet. There is no single diet plan for all types of kidney stones, as they can form due to a buildup of several different minerals in the body. Making small adjustments to your current diet and nutrition plan may go a long way toward preventing kidney stones. People who wish to prevent kidney stones developing for the first time or reduce the risk of recurrence if they have already had stones should follow these main steps. Drink plenty of water. Drinking more water is the best way to prevent kidney stones. If you don't drink enough, your urine output will be low. Low urine output means your urine is more concentrated and less likely to dissolve urine salts that cause stones. Try to drink around 8 glasses of fluids daily, or enough to pass 2 liters of urine. If you exercise or sweat a lot, or if you have a history of cysteine stones, you'll need additional fluids. You can tell whether you're hydrated by looking at the color of your urine it should be clear or pale yellow. If it's dark, you need to drink more. It is also best to avoid particularly sugary drinks, such as sweetened juices and sodas. 4. Eat fewer oxalate-rich foods. Some kidney stones are made of oxalate, a natural compound found in foods that binds with calcium in the urine to form kidney stones. Limiting oxalate-rich foods may help prevent the stones. Leafy vegetables such as Rhubarb Spinach Swiss chard Beverages such as Tea Coffee Chocolate drinks but have milk Roots and tubers such as Beets Sweet potatoes Potato chips Nuts Peanuts Soy products Wheat bran. To eat lots of calcium, and vitamin D. The most common type of kidney stone is the calcium oxalate stone, leading many people to believe they should avoid eating calcium. The opposite is true. Low calcium diets may increase your kidney stone risk and your risk of osteoporosis. If your calcium intake is low, oxalate levels may rise. It's preferable to get your calcium from food, rather than from supplements, as these have been linked to kidney stone formation. Good sources of calcium include milk, yogurt, cottage cheese, and other types of cheeses. Vegetarian sources of calcium include legumes, 
calcium set tofu, dark green vegetables, nuts, seeds, and blackstrap molasses. 3. Eat less sodium. A high salt diet increases your risk of calcium kidney stones. To reduce your sodium intake, read food labels carefully. Foods notorious for being high in sodium include processed foods, such as chips and crackers, canned soups, canned vegetables, lunch meat, condiments, foods that contain monosodium glutamate, foods that contain sodium nitrate, foods that contain sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. To flavor foods without using salt, try fresh herbs or a salt-free, herbal seasoning blend. 5. Eat less animal protein. Foods high in animal protein are acidic and may increase urine acid. High urine acid may cause both uric acid and calcium oxalate kidney stones. Small amounts of animal-based proteins are safe to consume. You should try to limit or avoid beef, poultry, fish, pork. Inclusion of plant-based protein sources in a kidney stone diet. Examples include beans, peas, and lentils. Don't drink colas. Avoid cola drinks. Cola is high in phosphate. Reduce or eliminate added sugar intake. Added sugars are sugars and syrups that are added to processed foods and drinks. Added sucrose and added fructose may increase your risk of kidney stones. Keep an eye on the amount of sugar you eat, in processed foods, such as cake, in fruit, in soft drinks, and in juices. Other common added sugar names include corn syrup, crystallized fructose, honey, agave nectar, brown rice syrup, and cane sugar. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are a necessary part of any diet. Increasing the number of vegetables in their diet can help a person prevent stone formation. Citrus fruit, and their juice, can help reduce or block the formation of stones due to naturally occurring citrate. Good sources of citrus include lemons, oranges, and grapefruit. Can diet alone treat kidney stones? The most important aspect of managing diet when looking to prevent recurrent kidney stones is speaking to a doctor or dietitian. They will be able to identify the type of kidney stone that is developing and ways to slow or stop its development. For some people, Dietary changes may be enough to prevent kidney stones from occurring. In other cases, additional treatment may be necessary, including medication to break the stones up or surgery to remove the stones. If stones become extremely painful, it is best to seek consultation with a doctor or nephrologist so they can recommend the best course of action. Hope, this video is useful and thanks for watching our videos. Click the subscribe button to get the next video.